This is the Belmont Stakes, the third leg of the Triple Crown in the US. And we're about to take a look at the field. One more four, grade one on the dirt for three year olds. We've got Altitude for Munas, 66 to 1. Chaldean, who's won his last two for Dan Hughes, 10 to 3. Kind of Magic for Jim Murray, 16s. Meshfi Ryan for Dan Hughes, 66 to 1. Trumpet Coup, 4 to 1 for James Shea. Agent Namar, C, 10 to 1 for Paul Rhodes. Heart of Oak, your 7 to 4 favourite. The Oaks winner for Josh Sutherland. Monorail for Paul Rhodes, 66 to 1. And Noble Sensation for Munas is 6 to 1. Only nine go to post for the Belmont. And they're off. Relatively even break. Just the two left behind. But it is Heart of Oak, the Oaks winner, who is going to dive straight for the front and does so successfully from Monorail. Meshfi Ryan being pushed through, as well as Kind of Magic. Chowdine also looking for that second. But it's Heart of Oak, clear by about two to three lengths with a nice lead. From Monorail, Noble Sensation, Agent Namatsi, Meshvi Ryan, Kind of Magic, Chaldine, Trumpet Coup, and Altitude is at the back of the pack. So, your 7 to 4 favourite, Heart of Oak, is flying. Is she going too quickly? It seems to be quite a quick pace, but um, the pace sticker says it's pretty standard, but they've given her a fair lead, and uh, they're going around the far side now. It is Heart of Oak. By reducing margin of about four lengths to Meshvi Ryan, Kind of Magic, Monorail on the rail, Noble Sensation, In Between the Major and the Matsy, Chowdine, Trumpet Coup and Altitude. So going towards the final six furlongs and Heart of Oak has a diminished lead of about two lengths to Kind of Magic, Noble Sensation, Meshvi Ryan, Agent the Matsy, the rest of them. Looking a bit far back at this point. Chaldean being pushed along there to try and stay with the pace. And Heart of Oak. The uh, jockey's getting the breather into her. Ready for the final dash as they start to line up in behind. And now the jockey says go on the favourite Heart of Oak. And they're going to have to go some to go with her. They're all at it in behind now as well. Misfy Ryan is in second. Agent the Matsy is looking good. And it's probably going to be the challenger at this point. Noble sensation kind of magic. Chaldean trying to get around the outside. Monorail is also there on the inside. But it's still Heart of Oak. They're a long way from home. There's still three furlongs to go. Has Heart of Oak gone too far too soon? Agent the Matsy is on her hindquarters. Kind of magic is coming out of the pack. The the two Dan Hughes horses are starting to drop away a bit at the moment. Noble Sensation is still there with Monorail. But Heart of Oak, she'll stay a mile four. She's kicking on again. And Agent the Matsy is not getting any closer. And neither of the rest of them. Heart of Oak saunters into the final furlong with a clear lead of three lengths. The rest of them are backpedalling. This one's over. Heart of Oak, magnificent. What a monster she is. Heart of Oak is going to roll away with this one. Noble Sensation came through well for second. Kind of Magic was in third. The rest of them just fell away. She set the fractions. She dictated the pace. And none of them could get close. Your 11 to 10 favourite and winner of the Belmont Stakes is Heart of Oak for Josh Sutherland. Let's look at the full result. Heart of Oak, there you go. 11 to 10 favourite. Made all comfortably. Noble Sensation for Munas second. Kind of Magic for Jim Murray, third, 18s. Altitude for Munas was fourth, 66. And Agent the Matsy for Paul Rhodes was fifth at 11 to 1.